250, so we're gonna get a third emote. Holy crap. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, this has been nuts. It's been great. Well, you know what? I need to start getting ready for the next game. We need to right. go ahead and introduce that. Thank you again. Well, uh, I'm, I'm going to say this real quick as I head out. Uh, thank ahead. you, Presentia, for putting this uh, all on. Thank you, Mike. I blame you entirely for this game. And uh, <laughs> thank welcome. you to everybody involved. Was, even as, as we've shown with Heavy Trooper on the Mystery Funhouse channel, even if it's super jank and like terrible games like this, it's still a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Bad games need love, too. They usually need more love than the good games. <laughs> yeah, the good games already have been playing a level already. They're hogging it all. Yeah, those jerks. All right, yeah, we'll see you later, and thank you again, Mike. No problem. Well, and, uh, I'm definitely looking forward to the next game. Yes. Oh, no. around, bro. Speaking about the next game, let's go ahead and start doing the reveal because we have a lovely uh, GM coming to join and give us something beautiful. And you know, this icon doesn't look very familiar. We've got a kitty cat. It's a cute kitty cat. But you know, this is still a name of somebody you know and love. Our dear Corn Dan is here today. Hello, come everybody, come and join. Hello, Corn Dan. Hi there. Hey, we love the kitty. Let me just say. That is, he is a good kitty. Yeah, Kitty just playing with the the roulette wheel of doom. Yeah. That is my kitty. Aw, that's so adorable. I want a kitty. Well, you know what? I think it's time for us to show what game. Uh, because we're a little bit behind, I'm just going to jump to it, you know? We have lots sure. of cats today. And in fact, we have a game called Bad Cat. <laughs> It is, it is, it is a bad cat. Yeah, let me go ahead and share some of this music, though, because Corn Dan was insistent that we need to hear some of the music here uh, before we jump into the game, as soon as it gets through the intro. Oh boy, this is a pretty hot jam. Bad cat. So oh. I, I will point out that um, the version of the music we're looking or we're listening to now was done by um, Chris uh, Herzbeck. You know, um, did uh, Jim Power did um, Turrican. Oh, we're not gonna really? be hearing that version. Oh no. Well, okay. Just enjoy this song. You won't hear it for very long. <laughs> Corn Dan, why would you do that? Why would you tell people? Why would why would you have us play this music and then? Be, be, because as I was looking more stuff about this game, it comes up that you know Chris Hillsback uh, did the music for this game, so I had to go look up. Time he was doing C sixty four music, so I had to go look up that version to see what it is, and it's actually pretty awesome. Oh um, yeah. And, and then you'll find that um, you know, it's not so good. Oh, by the way, who's doing our audio for today? Uh, Drex is doing audio for today. Sweet. I do, I do need to make a quick correction here. Forgive the editing mid-match. Well, it's not even... Match hasn't even started. Whatever. Drex. Zan. Perfect. Hey, Faizu. Did you hear cats were coming? I think Faizu's here. I hope so. Yeah, Faizu is here. All right, we we get to hear this music. You get to hear my voice as well. Aw, Faizu, it's good to have you. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, I, I heard cats were required, so I, I thought I'd better turn up. Um, was that wrong? Uh, you were definitely not wrong. Excellent. Oh, this PC speaker, it's good stuff. Might need to it's turn great. it up. Now, you were, you were looking at the, the box art before, I believe. Um, I'm going to link something into Twitch chat, uh, which is alternate uh, art for the game um, from the Amiga version, which is something quite special. 
it's actually pretty awesome. It it kind of makes the game look like something out of Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, to my mind. Ah, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and say these are our four players. We have Drexen, uh, Pika Pals, Yugi, and DJ Chupa. They will be playing for the next hour, showing us the beauty that is Bad Cats. This is beautiful. And, and, and yes, yes, Professor Ness, that U.S. gold. No, why is it always U.S. gold? It's not even a U.S. company. It's so dumb. No U.S. company would name themselves U.S. gold. <laughs> Apparently Drex is not the biggest fan of this music. <laughs> well, to, to be fair... Right, how long have they been sitting at this title? I don't think I would be the, the biggest fan of the music, especially Rick, coming from the Commodore 64 version, right? Which we just had some pretty banging music on that to this. And, and, and Liz, this is a PC release. This is on DOS. This is one of those games that came out on basically every system. This came out on Amiga and Atari ST, where it looks a lot better, and I think also C64 and Amstrad CPC. But, you know, DOS, because corn that. Wish them the <laughs> best of luck, because, because we... I, I have a reputation to uphold. We are doing a countdown, though. Everybody praise DOS, because <laughs> we, we are having this game. As soon as I finish the countdown and I see movement inside a stage, I will... Begin our timer, as per tradition. Bad cats, I'm ready for you. I'm not sure you are. Wow. Is that a dog? So, yeah, the, the, my Amazon Alexa is doing dog sounds for my son. Aw, thank you, Alexa. <laughs> Thank you, Amazon Alexa, for being the babysitter we all need. Well, um, you know. Uh, okay. This take care of the water is wet. Do not get in the water. Looks like Correct. DJ Chupa is jumping over walls and the others are jumping over water. Yeah, so um, there are five stages here. In the first one, you have to get through the park to get to your motorcycle because you're a bad cat, you know. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, so, you know, you gotta go through water. Water's wet. Cats don't like water, so, you know, you die. Right? Now, the thing is, cats apparently also don't like walls. Oh, no. Cats I've don't seen like lots of things I've, I've learned from this game. They're very temperamental. Ooh, and you can slide back into the water. Yes, you can. So, how do you control this game? Uh, so, um, it, it's literally just, um, arrow keys and spacebar or, or joystick and, and fire, right? Um, so, um, like like a lot of games wow. of the time, up is jump and fire is also jump. <laughs> uh, and, and they do two different types of jumps. Uh, so, so how do you control this? Pretty badly, actually. And, and it, it basically changes every single level. This and so, game controls in a very special way. It does. Um... Uh, so for each of the levels, you have a set amount of time you can be in the level, and you get more points for finishing it early, right? So in this case, they, they, they have five minutes on this level. You can see they're all about, like, three minutes in, you know, or three minutes left. And so if they get to the end of the five, um, the five minutes and it's up, you just move on to the next level, right? And you get, like, no points for this, or very limited amount of points for this. There are also bonus points available throughout the level. Uh, bits and there pieces are. like the screen that we have seen, which had a circus ball on it. You can actually uh, kind of go across that section on the ball, sort of rolling um, on top of the ball, and that, that gives you bonus points. Um, and they are competing for the highest score, so... Ah, gotcha. Okay, so... So, so Pika Pals just made it to the swing, and they're probably not going to figure this out. You actually have to go... <laughs> Left, down, right, down, left, down, like 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 you would on a swing, except, you know, if you only had three buttons and had no idea how to do a swing. <laughs> oh, the, I love uh, it. I, I admit that working out how to balance on a ball uh, did take me a little while to figure, to figure out as yeah. well. 
um, which they'll use later when you have to be on a log in the sewers. Yes. Uh, and in which case, the sewer's gonna be, that'll be another one of the levels. We'll see it go the whole five minutes, um, pretty much. I'm gonna pull back up some of that Commodore 64 music just so we I, actually have something. I think that's something. reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We've got some jams now. So, um, as people pointed out, we uh, we do have some a different high or a different progression uh, scheme here. Yes, and, and that is that this game takes about twenty minutes to complete. Uh, so we're actually going by high score, right? Because you get score for doing things, you get score for completing the levels and all of that, right? Whoever we're going to rank by high score in the end, whoever gets the highest score in the hour allotted um, wins the match. Yeah, in general, we have been doing time attacks rather than score attacks. Simply put, uh, it's something that is a lot easier to track when it comes to progress. Progress in this so, is definitely score-wise. So Pika Pals made it to the end of the park and is on the motorcycle, and they are now on level two. Now, what the game doesn't really tell you, it's really hard to see, and, and the manual's a really bad <laughs> job of it, too. <laughs> There is a, um, there, there's a little bit of yellow dot on there, right? And you I have to drive that. that little bit of yellow dot all the way to the blinking red dot. Where's the red dot? I don't down see... By the, um, this... Down by the track. This, this Where's the yellow goes... dot? Up at, like, the, the top right-hand-ish corner of the screen. It took me about 30 or 40 seconds on this screen to figure out where I was, and I ran, I, I wound up bumping into those, those green cars you can see on the roads, those are the police. And because you're a bad cat on a motorbike, if you bump into the police, they stop you for question. <laughs> um, yes, and, 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 and so you are literally just frozen in, in place for about, for, I think, 10 seconds of game time? Yeah, or something, something like that. I now see the dots. Okay, <laughs> I have figured out where the players are. Sort of. Some of them. No rhythm song, the, the spinny thing that you can see appearing, uh, you can pick up for bonus points. But, uh, yeah, this, this... I, I bumped into the police two or three times before I even worked out where I was on this screen. Yeah, the, 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 the police kind of up in that corner, like, really bounced you around, and I... It, it, it probably took me about 30 seconds before I realized what the heck was going on. <laughs> this is so good! Oh my gosh! How is this acceptable? <laughs> like, somebody well, it, looked it, at this and said, yeah, let's go ahead and ship it. So, <laughs> so, like, DJ Chupa is the first one to make it through, right? Yes. Um, but, and so, so, and you, here is the one that gets me every single time, right? So, you hear it say, you see it say hit, right? It gives you a thing. You need to, like, bounce, and at the top of your jump, right, like, punch the triangle. I would like to say for the record that even on subsequent plays, this screen is awful and terrible, and I would just skip it and take a five minute time pass if I could. Really? Pretty much, yep. Yeah, it, like, even knowing what I had to do, I think I only ever punched, like, one. This in is five minutes. so unbelievably finicky to control this section. Like, how do you push triangle? What button is triangle? So, so you, you see at the top, right, you have those, like, status bar, basically, yeah. right, that keeps moving along with the triangles and the circles and the spaces and all that. You have to jump up when, like, the triangle's in the middle, right, and then punch the triangle. Now, yeah, here's the problem. You, you, you hold down, down, right, to, to basically get momentum on the little spring things. Right, and you have to jump with fire, and you have to punch with fire, and depending on what the game decides you're gonna go do, you may or may not actually jump the way you want, and instead you'll, like, front flip to your doom. I think you one person not... is hit so far. I, I don't know. You may also not jump high enough to do it. Uh, you may be sitting there waiting for a while for the correct symbol to appear. Like, this... does it just have... <laughs> Does it just have to appear anywhere above the giant box? 
Um, like, like you have to like <laughs> jump into it, right, and, and punch it. It's it's a big pain in the butt. But jump into the top bar? Like, I'm trying to figure yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. like jump into the top bar. Are you yeah. serious? Yes. Yeah. It is absolutely appalling, and I think I did it once, and that was purely by accident. Yeah, I haven't seen anyone get near there. So this was the time. So I handed this out to a couple of GMs to test this for me, right? And, and the first, the, the first one I gave it to was Bangara, and I think this was the point in time Bangara just started yelling at me. <laughs> <laughs> See, I actually kind of like some of the stages in this game, but this is not one of them. This is just god awful. Yeah, this is this is not okay. I was going to suggest almost, I mean, I, I, you had the idea of doing the score attack, which was a great idea uh, and works perfectly for this uh, because they're going to have to do this three times. Um, yeah, or, or, or just give up and hope that that score is good enough. Pretty much. But uh, I, I, I did also entertain the notion briefly of finding two other games like this, you know, the sort of California game style thing or winter games where you have really terrible events that control horribly and just making them cycle through like three of these games uh, and combining the scores. Oh my god, Ace Magazine. I remember their scoring system out of a thousand. Well, I, I mean, clearly you have to score everything out of a thousand. Well, I mean, this this certainly wasn't deserving of a, uh, of a 664. It's better than that. Yeah, oh, it's, it deserves a 666. <laughs> you, you may not be far off. Like, I'm, I'm so frustrated watching this because, like, I don't understand how the controls can be this bad. So, uh, Dana's pointing out that Winter Games had one of the most atrocious controls for figure skating. And I will point out that after playing the figure skating and this, I'd rather play figure skating. Yes. Are you serious? 100%. Wow. Figure skating, figure skating is far more entertaining than this section. And, and, and at least think... once you figure out what figure skating's trying to do, the controls make sense. I'm not saying they're good, and I'm not going to, like, excuse them, right? But but at least it makes sense. So, Grassman just got up and hit one of the, the circle ones and didn't hit the triangle one, but they are getting close enough to do it. I think Yugi punched one as well. Thankfully, we don't have to pay attention to this because uh, we get a nice numerical score instead. We're just going to listen to other Commodore 64 music as well because it's better sure, than why not? listening to nothing. Uh, uh, Alright, so now we're, now we're going off to the next area. Wait, so this street section, does it count as a level? No. <laughs> no, but you, you can get points in this. Yeah, I, I mean, you do it, right, because you can. Um, there, there are there are other dots you can pick up along the way to get I, points, and you are also timed, so you need to get there on time. Ah. Yeah, I, I mean, you get points for getting there on time, right? So it is important to do so. This game is so bad. Uh, yep. Yes, it is. Y you know, everybody else had been giving out, you know, as the opener is like softballs and stuff that people are going to do well. And I decided we need to see more horror that is DOS. There's so much DOS horror. Like, seriously. Uh, Alright, so now, um, DJ Chupa and Yugi and... Everybody else is going to be there soon. You're in the, um, in the sewer. Now, pets <laughs> don't like water, and so, um, don't touch water. I like um, how it says boing when you die. Well, yes, it's your turn, large canoe. Also, what the crap, they're getting to the end of the stretch here. They need they to just turn die. on the light. 
which is like right in front of the um uh, and, and, and there we go so now now we get to the point where DJ Chupa needs to jump onto that barrel yes, and, and then you DJ Chupa needs to actually work out how the uh, barrel controls work Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is being a little rough. There we go. Yep. Okay. And DJ controls, Chufa back into the water. The barrel controls are far easier than you would think they are. It's just that the game doesn't actually tell you what they are. Okay, Pika Pals is finally getting to that dot. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping everybody read the manual because the manual does tell you you have to turn on the light. Like, Yugi has been trying to turn it on. Honestly, the first playthrough, I expect people to sort of suffer a little bit. Oh, 100%. The, the first playthrough is going to be a learning experience for the next two playthroughs where they can hopefully actually start getting some scores. This is almost like a, a trial run. This barrel, it's inexcusable. <laughs> Like, everything in this game is inexcusable. So, the barrel, <laughs> the barrel controls are much easier than you think. Like, I think the manual just tells you to tap left and right, or something like that, uh, to, to maintain your balance, which is correct. It's just that you think, you know, you have to tap it at a certain time. Like, you tap left when he's falling off to the right, or something like that. No, no it you... is literally just rhythmically tap left, right, left. Right, left, right, and that's it. I think DJ Chupa has it. DJ Chupa yeah. does have it. Ooh. Yugi is still trying to figure this out. They're trying to push the button. Like, how precise is this switch push? Like, they... All Yugi has to do at that point in time is hit the space bar. Okay. There we go. Right. So, remember as we talked about how the controls basically change um, all the time? Yes. Right. Uh, so, um, space bar or, or your fire in this is uh, not um, to do a somersault jump anymore. It's now to punch them. Like mice. Like yeah, mice. mice. Or rats, I suppose they are. Uh, okay. Which, for some reason, are going along the walls. Um, you know they what? Could be they could be bad rats. They well, bad rats. you're hungry. It's breakfast time. I love the creepy hands at the left that clap when you do something. <laughs> <laughs> it took me so long to work out what they were until I actually saw them clapping. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is a game. Yeah, no, th this game is fantastic, if you ask me. This um, is like the well, at least for Kuto Grande. It's, it's <laughs> like the crappest... <laughs> it is basically the crappest version of California games imaginable, only with Cat Phoenix. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of seeing that. Oh no, Yugi! What, what is the little face under the hand? I, if I remember correctly, it's for bonus points. And, and, and you guys are right. Imagine paying 30 pounds and getting this. Only slightly better looking because it was on Amiga. <laughs> yeah, I, I imagine that the C64 and the Amstrad CPC versions would probably have been about a fiver or a tenner. But, but I mean, okay, so even imagine paying this, like, for a fiver, right? Oh, and there we go, in, DJ Chupa moving on to something. In fairness, I've probably spent five pounds on worse things. Well, I definitely have. Um, I think DJ Chupa ran out of time, Yugi yeah. ran out of time. Yeah, we'll, we'll see a bunch of people running out of time here. Um, and so when we go to the next, um, the next time through, uh, we should be doing a lot better.
Ah, uh, Pika Pals had some applause. I know Pika Pals is the most behind at this point. Yeah, Doe Wolf, I do not have their stream popped up, so I can't tell you what's going on in their stream. But apparently there's some good noises. <laughs> So we are now at the, um, at the bar. Oh, good. And what are we going to do in the bar? <laughs> the dumbest minigame. It is a pretty dumb minigame. So, so you need to hit left, right, to, to pick up a ball. Um, and then, <coughs> right, bullet, bowling right, you want to hit them with it. And then when you get hit, you have to go to the bar and drink. Right, so if you get hit like like uh, Pika or uh, you know like DJ Chupa did, you have to go to the bar and drink, and then what? Yes. Yeah. You have to bowl the ball over to the right of the dog. The dog is bowling balls to the left at you, and those things in the middle kind of randomize which lane they come out of. It's not uh, random if you look at at, at at the bottom. Yes. Yeah. If you, if you look at the bottom and you. Follow the colors. That's where it's gonna go. But yes, wow. you are basically it's it's whoever gets drunk first loses, and I think it's six beers. Something. Like whoever, whoever drinks six beers first loses. Fair enough. Hey, okay. So Competitive I, I bowling. I think Pika Pals is lost. I think so. <laughs> this is. <laughs> the best mini game ever. Oh, I love it. Well, I just see the cat smoking a cigarette. It's true. I, I feel like I did, but I'm not sure. Oh, I'm not 100% sure, but maybe. It looked like an idle animation while the dog was drinking. It, it, it's quite possible. I mean, it is a it is a bad cat or a street cat, depending on which region and version. Yeah, yeah, depending. It's depending true. On, now, we are playing bad cat, so. Wait, what about the lanes that don't have randomizers? I don't know. I always I always went off of what the colors were. <laughs> Honestly, with this minigame, I just completely ignored the uh, stuff at the bottom and just hurled bowling balls at random and won. That's fair enough. It looks like DJ Chupa is doing pretty well, though. Uh, and Drake's up Dra at the top Drax left. Is doing, is doing great. Yeah, this is not the most convenient game if you're colorblind. Which, honestly, I am colorblind. It's a little bit difficult sometimes. I mean, you say this, but I feel like actually trying to follow the lines at the bottom is a disadvantage, because that implies that there's any sort of AI for the opponent, so it's really just hurl things at random and win. Oh, maybe it just hides the lines as time goes on. That's what it does. Oh, as you get drunker and drunker, it stops showing you the lines. Yes. That could be. Yeah, because uh, Pika Pals hasn't had a drink and has all of the lines. Yep. Whereas D DJ Chupa, yep. Okay, I get it. The more drunk you get, the less you can bowl. Or, or, or the less that you know about bowling. It's true. Thank you, Joey Gatorman, for the update on points. Always helps to be able to see some of that. Yeah, it's realistic. This game is, emulates real life. Yes, because my cats go out when I'm not paying attention to go um, <laughs> punch shapes and go drinking with, with bulldogs. <laughs> you know I mean, what? In fairness, in, in fairness, going drinking and punching shapes does sound like a pretty standard night out for a lot of people. Keep going, I'm gonna run away for just one minute and I will be right back. He's gone. What do we do? So I 
Okay, well, we have... One, we have two completions? Two. Two completions at this point. And we are going to see those scores increase for certain. Oh, 100%. Are we... This is probably something I should ask while Procenture is here, but are we uh, going... Are we cutting them off at the hour, or yes. is it three full playthroughs? We are cutting at the hour, and I um, love that DJ Chupa's uh, next name is Y Corndan Y. <laughs> you would, he had me as a GM for Kuso 3. You would think he'd be used to this sort of thing. I, yeah, so I maybe, bet. Maybe, I maybe bet. DJ Chupa thought he was safe. Yeah, that's what I bet is more happened. And then Faizu I showed up. Faizu has given out a game. I'm going to be safe from DOS crap for a while. And then... So we are doing best score. Three full plays might make sense, but it depends on the point they're at. Um, and I guess how close it is amongst other things, but we'll see what happens. I think at this point it's probably just going to be an hour, though, as that is planned. I'm back! I just wanted to- OH MY GOD! Boo! <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, you don't need to be too worried. Okay, yeah, it looks like all of the players are starting over. What is our current lead? It looks like Pika Pals is likely in the lead, is that correct? I don't know, I'm, I'm not paying any attention to the scores right now, if only because uh, they are definitely going to change for the second round. Oh yeah, I have a feeling they're going to vastly improve. Now that they know sort of how the the controls work. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 that kind of game really. Um, the first time through was almost kind of a dry run, a practice run. Yep. Now that they've actually done one complete run of the game, I figure that the second run through, hopefully they won't get stumped on the same bits as they did the first time. Hopefully, yeah. Okay, DJ Chupa is doing really great at swinging, and they've got the key. Moving on to the last section here to get to the motor's bike. Not sure what killed him, but hey, happens. Looks like Drex is trying to figure out how to swing. <laughs> That's that was... not a sentence you want to say, bro, Sensha. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow, Faizu. Wait, did I see Corndan show up in the middle of this? I'm pretty um, sure I saw Corndan's name. Did you DJ mod Troopers, this? DJ Trooper's name, you get to input a name at the start. Ah, uh, um, okay. For the high scores, and DJ Trooper's name is Y Corndan Y. Oh, I like it. Drex is trying to get on the swing. I think. Oh, Pika Pals onto the motorbike as well. Yeah, it looks like Drex and Yugi are stuck a little bit in this game at this point. What console is this on? This is definitely a DOS game. So yeah, what are your... What are your right, thoughts so right. far? What do you think this they're going to do better on the second time? Besides everything. Well, I, I mean, I'm hoping the second time around we're going to see some better results on the um, punching um, uh, shapes game. <laughs> but I expect that to just go the full five minutes. Oh, hey, DJ Chupa hit a triangle. What? Oh, that's great. That is impressive. I, I think, if memory serves from what little I can remember of the manual, which is really terribly translated, um, 
if you hit the flashing black hexagon as well, that's bonus points. Ah, okay. Oh no, DJ Chupa crumpled up on the platform. <laughs> I love some of the animations in this. Some of them are great. Some of them I just don't understand. What happens if you punch the other things, like the red? I, I have, have no idea. idea. I'm going to assume that nothing oh, would so happen close. Per se, But you wouldn't then be able to punch them later on to get more points. Okay. That would be my guess. Yeah, DJ Chupa is doing surprisingly well. Surprisingly well on this minigame. By the way, everybody watching, we have one more game after Bad Cat. So, we've got plenty of fun coming up, even if you're not the biggest Shape Puncher fan in this world. It's fine. We've got more Super stuff for you. The second triangle. They're now on um, the circles. Red circles. DJ Super is disturbingly good at this. All DJ Super should be thanking me. I, I feel that all the terrible DOS crap I gave out last year has, has possibly given them the edge here. <laughs> There's a lot of crappy DOS games out there. Like so many. Just. I, I don't know, we've barely touched the library in Cusa Grande, but I'm glad that we're seeing more of it. You, uh, you, you have no idea. I mean, I there have some things. idea. You have some idea. There are things coming. There are, there are things lurking in the darkness, waiting. I mean, there is Scunny Cart, <laughs> but that's yes, not... Yeah, I mean... Oh, Scunny Cart can totally be a thing. It's not acceptable. What a crappy game. I think, bro, I think Bro would veto Scunny Cars if we tried to get that out. No, but I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it appears, too, that um, while well, we took a peek of pals, um, hit one of the uh, triangles as well. Nice. Yeah, they're starting to figure out this minigame. A little bit. They're doing so well. I'm so proud of them. Too. It's it's like watching my terrible DOS children all grown up. <laughs> DJ Chupa! Okay, you can do this. Yeah, I don't understand the jump height either. Like, it almost looks like they're rolling the dice and seeing how high they jump. Yeah, so, so there's two jumps yes. here, right? Um... Because there, there's a, um, like, a somersault and a not somersault. And you want to get the not somersault, but both of them happen when you hit fire. So you might get one or the other. Can you push up to jump? Not in this case. Because, remember, things just do weird things. Controls are... They're a suggestion. Why would they do that? Why would they put... Two different jumps to one button. It might because how's this was 1987 and nobody knew any better. Ah, uh, yeah. Or, right. or they That's knew better. <laughs> or, or they knew better and didn't care because you'll buy it anyway. It could be timing based off of your animation. Correct. That would be my guess. It is definitely not based on how long you hold down the button for. Uh oh. There may possibly an RPG limit break list up. There is. Well, that can wait until after this very important match, obviously. It's true. It's... You know what? People have multiple tabs. If you want to go ahead and check it out, you can always open your own tab. Look, right now we, we have to worry about these cats that are bouncing on strange trampolines floating in the middle of a lake and attempting they... to knock shape cards off a rotating banner. Like, the the cats should totally reevaluate what they're doing with their time. Like... You know, 
thinking back on it, that sentence I just said, I don't think anyone has ever put that combination of words together in the history of humankind. It's I very may have possible. Just said yeah. a sentence that has never, ever before been said. That could be true, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, it looks like DJ Chupa has moved on to the next section, which is definitely going to be a little bit more of a joy to get through. Even running as fast as he is, though, is he going to make it? Oh, he did. Nice. I'm curious to see if anyone's going to be able to fully beat the sewer section this time. Uh, At this point, I'm assuming that my fellow co-commentators are attempting to check the RPG Limit Break website. Quiet! Uh, a little bit while we're going. Uh... A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we're very curious. I, I mean, I don't know what else to add about punching rats in the face. There are always more things you can say about punching rats in the face. Well, I, I mean, we have to worry about them because they're bad rats. They are. They're seriously jerks. If they're crawling on walls, you know there's something wrong with them, okay? Probably the toxic water mutated them so they have hook feet. Hooks for feet, okay? That's what these rats are. Those are... They're like spider rats. They're going along the walls. Horrible. Oh, good! DJ Chupa is through the spider rats. I, I mean, I do appreciate that we've got, like, almost 400 people here watching bad cats. <laughs> yeah, this is nuts. Okay. <laughs> no, the alligator! Do you, do you remember Big Bad Gamathon where we managed to have like 4,000 people watching the U Testament? Uh, yeah, I do. like 2,200. Oh, uh, only. Uh, on the U Testament, but it was like 7,500 people watching um, Epic Dumpster Bear? Yes. Yeah. Like, seriously, I'm really glad that bad games are getting a lot more love these days. You know, it, it's been... A while since, like I don't, I don't know. There have been plenty of YouTube channels that have done extremely su successfully, but Twitch channels sort of been, you know, hit and miss. But people are showing a lot more love these days, and I just love it. I, I think it's all thanks to you, Brotenshin. I don't think it's all uh, thanks to me. It's all thanks to Bad Cat, Boing. So I'm curious now to what happens when Bad Cat runs into Cool Cat. Oh, no. Bad stuff, okay? Who's gonna bully who? Oh, Bad Cat would definitely bully... Uh, would bully Cool Cat. <laughs> so, th this room that they're on, the watch out, I can bite too. Right, you just need to climb up the ladder. Okay. Yes. Uh, you, you climb up the ladder and then you shimmy along the pipe at the top and you can actually, for bonus points, you can push those huge concrete freeze blocks on top of the alligator and smack it in the head. Stupid alligator. Okay, DJ Chupa oh. is crawling along. And Those it looks like Pika Pals. DJ Chupa only has 1 minute 30 odd left in the sewers before getting a timeout. Uh, Pika Pals has considerably more time left than is on the same section. Oh, that is an alligator. Like, sorry, I was looking at it, and it looked like a slime with a poorly drawn smiley face on it. Like, Wait, you, you didn't realize it was an alligator? No, I didn't. The switch is the key. Uh-oh. Yeah, nice. so when you turn off the light, the, the, the dog doesn't know what to do. So you just run past it. Boing. Right, and, and, and then you, uh... This is because uh, dogs are stupid. How... This game is dumb. Like, dogs I'm just seeing dumb. DJ Chupa trying to get... Oh, you can crawl now! Oh, baby. Watch out. Yeah. 
This game does look painful to play. I haven't touched it at all, but... This game is painful to play. I... I honestly kind of like these sections, like the very first level and this level. It's the rest of the game that I hate outright. Like these sections, the sewer and the... Uh, whatever on earth it is, the, the park. Both of those kind of have some ideas. Each of the screens is a little bit different, but... yeah. Yeah, the music is not from the game. This is actually Commodore 64 Cybernoid. Which is a lot better than nothing. Yeah, yep. this game only has title screen music. And it's not good. The title screen music is, is physical pain. Yep. They essentially weaponized audio waves. Pika Pals, run! Wow. What do you have to do for a run for your life? Mash left, what? right? Like, tap, I think it's tap right as fast as possible. Eh, okay. And then when you get close to the end, you hit the switch. And then the dog stops because it doesn't know what to do because it's a dog. What a dumb dog. Dogs are stupid. Oh no, Peter Bell's tried! <laughs> Oh, they've got 23 seconds, close, 22. Yeah. No, doggo! Ooh, almost. Oh, so not, close. I, I didn't think I'd say this, but I'm I'm not talking because I'm wrapped with fascination <laughs> trying to see how this happens. It's it's not going to happen. It didn't happen. But Pika Pals did extremely well. Like, they got to the final screen of that section. Yeah, and, and you know, we'll have about uh, time here for probably most of one more attempt. Right, depending on how fast they do the bar section. Uh, yep. We'll see something here. Are we giving them a full third attempt, or is it just until time is out? We've gone until time, right? I mean, we do have another game after us. Yes. So, you know, if this were the last match of the night, you know, you could make an argument otherwise, but uh, there is a uh, an important time here. Right, so it's by time. So, they just need to do extremely well their last playthrough. Pretty much. It might actually be worth starting over, honestly, if people want to do extremely well on the first sections rather than, you know, going through and uh, just having a partial playthrough. I don't know. It depends on your strategy. Oh, now we have no music. Okay, let me go ahead and change that. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, it's it's the highest score that they get, not a combined That's score. That's correct. Oh so, boy. Uh, DJ Chupa is doing pretty well on the bowling uh, mini game. Oh yeah. They probably will finish this before the time is up for this minigame. Yeah. yeah, and it will be a pretty close um, thing after that, right? To, to make sure that they can get um, enough time in for for one final go. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't think that Drex and Yugi will have a full another playthrough. Um, but that once again, that's going to depend on how well they do. Yeah, it looks like GJ Chupa is sitting on the score screen for a little bit. They did manage to beat the bowling relatively quickly. Yeah, that's a big bonus from that level. So let's see what they do. I think they're going to be right around 10,000 points. Yeah, I'm wondering why they're waiting here. I don't know. Is that Corn Baby I hear? That is Corn Baby in the back, yeah. Child. 
that it's not not corn baby anymore has evolved into child corn now. Uh, or, 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 or mini corn. Mini corn. That's right. Maybe DJ Chupa just had to run away from the computer for a, a minute or so. Meanwhile, everyone else is finishing up bowling beer bowling against a dog that was previously trying to hit you in the sewers. Yeah, with well, rats. Pika Pals is doing a pretty okay job for this one. Yeah, like, uh, Pika Pals is doing well. Um, Drax is doing all right too, right? They, yep. You know, I mean, you just got to kind of pick up the pace here. Sorry, I love chat sometimes. Just about, right, 9,750 points. It's just about um, 10,000 points. Yeah, Chris, I don't know how Chris got all of that. So, that bowling is the final stage then? Bowling is the final stage. Cool. DJ Chupa going to be moving on. That was a pretty... Yeah, all pretty. Oh, pretty I... Pretty close to 8,950. I think DJ Chupa did move into the lead, though, with that. Yes. Okay, DJ Chupa is getting through this first level pretty quickly. Oh. Death the by Boeing, it's my favorite kind of death. Do they have enough time to actually complete a full run or even get Maybe. enough points? I, I I mean so if they if they go quick, like the way it's going now, probably not. Uh, but you know, um they have had um, some really quick things here. You're gonna make it through the sewers faster. Um, you're you're probably not going to go with um, straight up um, five minutes on the um, the uh, um, you know punching section. So from yeah. there, maybe you could. I you know I, I I definitely think it's possible. Right at the same token, now that they know what a lot of the bonus like things are. Yes. Right, like you know, and they know how to do it. Like riding that that ball that Pika just did. Right, that's going to get you extra points, so it's it's conceivable it's possible. DJ Chupa is having a little bit of a hard time with this wall jumping section. Which, I can't blame them, because this seems odd. Oh, we get to hear the game music for a second. It looks like 5850 is currently Drex's score. Drex's oh, high score. That's yeah. third. Okay, and they will be jumping back into the game in just a second. Again, we have one more match coming up after this. I'm not spoiling what it is, but it's going to be absolutely fantastic. <laughs> it's it's a Cusa Grande match. It's oh, yeah. Fantastic. Trust me on that one. I wonder if I know what this is. I haven't even checked. I have checked. I know what this is. So do I. So do I. I would like to point out that the GM in question is a really bad person. No, no, I actually... I, I will say I actually really enjoy the game. As with most of the games that we have, mind you, so maybe you, you shouldn't should trust this. my opinion. You maybe, should play this. Maybe one day. Pika Pals, by the well, way, is back to the road. DJ yeah, Chupa P just having a hard time here. Pika Pals crushed that out. 
Right, and that's going to make a big difference because they're going to get so many bonus points out of them. Oh, yeah. Okay, DJ Chupa just trying to do flips over the walls. Ooh, except on the last one. Is this another case of fire does two different types of jumps? So up does one jump and fire does another. Oh, okay. I mean, like, if you look here, right, Pika Palace is already at 3,500 points. Yes. Right, and so, you know, if you can come out of this even sort of close on time, uh, there's a good chance that, you know, even if you don't make it all the way through the bar segment, you still could maybe make it to that 10,000 uh, points that you're going to have to get. Oh, yeah. It's just mostly learning how to do the early stages faster. Yep. Okay, looks like Yugi is getting through, unfortunately taking a fall. Why do you fall in the middle of that section? What causes a fall? Not really sure. Um, because <laughs> when I like when I went through this, right... You know, you can just keep tapping, tapping right, and you just go straight over like there's no issue. So my guess is you you hit the fire button and it jumps and drops. Okay, swing time for Yugi. It looks like Drix is on to uh, the monkey bars as well. Pika Pal's just trying to hopefully save a little time. Ooh, into the water. Splush. Oh, I was wrong. I take it back. About what? The the next game. Uh, I was thinking of a, a very different game. I'm not saying what the game is or who <laughs> the GM is, but uh, I I thought it was a different and much 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 worse game. Yeah, I think there actually is a little bit of kindness going on these days when it comes. Well, it wasn't for me. <laughs> We, no, we it are wasn't. In, we are in round one, so, you know, some people are uh, playing softball and lulling their victims into a false sense of security before we really make things go horrible for them. Okay, looks like Drex and Yugi are on to uh, the driving sections. The biggest thing, because I don't see them making up too much time with this j jump and punch section since only one or two players have really gotten the hang of this so far. Uh, they're going to have to hustle through the sewer. I'm so glad that we at least have some Commodore 64 music to keep us happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I wish I could hear it. Yeah, instead, all we get is the DOS PC speaker, because it's so fantastic. It's it's good, you know? You know I, it, I, should, I, should, I should just put on some music in the background for myself. Do it. Fine, I will. Okay. All right, then. <laughs> oh, no! Oh! Pika Pals into the water. Like, I think everybody's starting to get the hang of this, but... This jumping section is still dumb. Oh, a hundred percent. Come on, kitty. You got a hit. Sorry. Oh, bam, the game. Right. Oh, and Yugi got a punch. Very nice. It looks like Drex may have as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Everybody is doing pretty good at getting a couple punches. Okay. Yeah, and Pika, Pika Pals has almost got all of them. Oh, no! Oh, unfortunately, he broke his legs. <laughs> I don't know what yeah. happened. Is it just he's very disappointed he didn't jump right? Like, what's his motivation for being angry? We're not really sure. I mean, they're cats. 
I mean, hey, that's Pika, a good point. Pika finished it with 30 seconds left. Wow. Fantastic. That impressive. That's the first time we've seen this level get finished. Oh, you, you gotta keep going. Are you serious? This is dumb. <laughs> so, so apparently that one you go the full five minutes. <laughs> oh, oh, that makes everything so much better. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? <laughs> I feel so bad for them. The worst level in the game is the one that you cannot skip by by doing well. <laughs> <laughs> And, and it's not, and, and, and it's kind of worse because they only get like 800 points for that whole level for completing all that. Yeah, that's, that's so dumb. Wow. There we go, DJ Chupa right into the water. That's what we like to see. So, I, I mean, based on this, Pika, Pika Pals might have a chance to get a higher score, but I don't think anybody else is going to. I don't... I don't know, I don't think so. They like unless they manage to blast through the sewer and get a really good score there. I think you're right. But they could potentially with the sewer. It's possible. Yeah, that's just I think Pika Pal would do it. Right, there's Well, there's like six minutes left, so it's like if you if you got through the sewers real fast and you really pushed on the bar, maybe. Not really sure. Oh, boy. Okay, it is time for Pika Pals to go into the sewer. Drax is just making a lot of sound effects, because why not? Alright, so I, yeah, I mean, I think Pika Pals is going to be the one to watch right now. I think it's going to come down to how fast you can punch rats. Yeah, Pika Pals is doing a pretty good job rat punching at this point. Which is good, as long as the rat doesn't knock him into the water. Pretty good. Yugi is actually did extremely well there with the jumping. Let's see what Yugi is able to do in the road section and then the sewer. DJ Chupa is definitely running through this sewer as quickly as possible. Uh, Pika yeah, Pals, I think, though. I, I think DJ Chupa realizes there's not much time left. Oh, yeah. Okay, Drex is through that and moving on to the street section, which is very easy to follow. You just need to see the yellow dot, watch the yellow dot go to the red dot. It is extremely easy as long as you can actually see the red dots. Um, uh, and as long as you, as long as the blue dots that represent police cars don't just completely pack on you. Are they blue? Uh, They're kind green. Of bluey green. Well, I, I believe this is a German game. It would make sense that they were be like green, green and white. I think is the. I cannot remember what color German police cars are or were in the late eighties. Anyway, that would make sense. I think. Pika pals kicking Jeff. some mice. 
Jeff has a very good point. I don't think the red dot is actually the cat. I think the red dot is just the laser pointer that you're using to direct the cat. Oh. To the uh. Uh, don't kick mice. Kick rats. They're not mice. Is anyone going to nudge one of those breeze blocks off onto the alligator, I wonder? I don't know. It would be free points. Oh. It looks like DJ Chupa that, tried. I think that just missed. Dang it. Pika Pals, are you going to be able to get to the end of this section? Run! Run! Your life depends on it! Oh, boing. Why does it say boing? Like, this is the <laughs> most upsetting part of the game for me, that... When you die, you boing. I, I think the what's the most upsetting part for me is, you know, being chased by a gigantic dog. I, I, I feel like, I mean, if you look at that dog and the, the look on its face, it's like Five Nights at Freddy's or something like that. <gasps> Pika Pals is through! Oh, nice. But is it going like, to be like... fast enough? I like how the dog is just running on the spot. Like, I can't see where I'm going, but I'm chasing something, so I'm just gonna stand here running. Yeah. Oh my gosh, DJ Chupa. Getting lined up with the switch is difficult. Oh, and we've got just 35 seconds left. Yeah, I don't think, um... I mean, I think we'll see the start of the bar thing, but I don't think we're gonna... Um, see it completed. You're probably right. Now I wonder, is there a way to see the score mid-game? I don't think so. I think the score gets set after... Um, we will see the score. Pika Pal should be in there, hopefully with enough time. We'll see the score basically right as time runs out. And there we go, we hit our hour mark. It looks like Pika Pals is at 83.80, which I believe they got a better high score previously. They I'm did. Not mistaken. Uh, somewhat doubt the others are going to be able to beat. No, I believe. This one's. I believe Pika Pals will, right, when, if they finish this, but there's just no, you know, the time's already over. Yeah. Um, so, right, everything is set. It may make sense to let Drexen, Yugi, and DJ Chupa just wrap up what they've got here, since they're still continuing these, this stage so that we can see what their total was. Chupa will need to hit the... Hit fire, right? It won't make a difference. Um, oh, okay. Be mostly because DJ Chupa's already in first. Right, so... 4270 for DJ Chupa on this playthrough, but yeah, they had a higher... What was their score previously? 9750? 9750. Awesome. Pika Pals that got is. up to... What was it? In the 8000s, I believe, right? Like, yeah, 80, yeah. 100. And Pika Pals com completing this, right, if they, if they were to complete this in time, um, would... Pro would probably put them over the 10,000 mark. Alright, I'm just waiting for Yugi and Drexen to wrap up this stage so we can make an official decision for them as well. Oh no, Yugi! Subtotal 4730. Which is an improvement over their first match. Right, They're even stopping right there, it's, it's still an improvement over their first run. Yeah, what about the second one? What was their second subtotal? I didn't catch that. S 
Okay, second match. Got about 6,500 per Joey. Drex got up to 5,380 during this playthrough, but what was their score previously? 5,850. So I think, based off of those scores, DJ Chupa did get to the top score. Pika right. Pals in second, Yugi in third, and Drex in fourth. That is currently my understanding. Great we'll match. Wait. Oh, yeah. We will wait for, for Kate's um, official determination. Coming in Discord here in just a second. Sweet. Well, meanwhile, we're having one more game after this one. Uh, it is going to be a game that I think some people may have seen before. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but yeah, it looks like <laughs> there are mixed opinions about this game. That's what I love to see, Corn Dan. <laughs> it, it, it's not a good game. Oh no, it's not. It definitely has its problems. I would highly recommend, though, going and following these players. Uh, all of them put on a good show and gave a solid attempt. Some of them had more success than others. That's the nature of Cusa Grande. It's true. Oh, boy. All right, I'm going to duck out of chat. Go, Faizu. I'm glad that you stopped by and gave a little commentary oh. during this. It was it was stuff about cats, um, so you know, <laughs> so, sort of in your nature. Basically obligated. Okay. Well, thank you very much for having me, uh, Corndan and Bro Censure. You're and, welcome. Uh, I will I will speak to you all later. All right. See you later, Faizu. So welcome. This is the bad video game tournament. In most cases, people are going to be facing each other to see how much progress they can make in one go. Uh, for this one specifically, it was points that they were focusing on. We have one more match coming up in just a little bit. By the way, we gave the order of people and their scores uh, from what we saw. Cadis is going to be verifying that. I would be happy if DJ Chupa did want to hop in and chat for a little bit, but also, let's get the next game ready, because I think 